Mr. Thompson was a seasoned teacher, dedicated to his profession with an unwavering passion for imparting knowledge to his students. He spent long hours at the school, often staying late to prepare for his classes or help struggling students catch up. But it was the evenings, after his day at the school had ended, that Mr. Thompson truly cherished. Those quiet hours were his time for reflection and relaxation, a chance to unwind from the pressures of the day. One chilly evening, after a particularly exhausting day of tuition, Mr. Thompson made his way back home. The streets were empty, bathed in the soft glow of streetlights, casting long shadows across the pavement. The wind whispered through the trees, sending dried leaves skittering along the ground. It was the kind of night that sent shivers down the spine, a night ripe with the promise of mystery and intrigue. As Mr. Thompson walked, he couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. He glanced over his shoulder, half expecting to see someone following him, but the street behind was deserted. Chiding himself for his overactive imagination, he quickened his pace, eager to reach the warmth and safety of his home. But as he turned the corner onto his street, he froze in his tracks standing in front of his house was a figure cloaked in darkness, its features obscured by the shadows. A chill ran down Mr. Thompson's spine as he stared at the figure, his heart pounding in his chest. Was it a trick of the light? Or something far more sinister? Summoning his courage, Mr. Thompson approached the figure cautiously. Who's there? He called out, his voice trembling slightly. There was no response, only the sound of the wind rustling through the trees. With each step closer, Mr. Thompson's apprehension grew. He could feel the weight of the unknown bearing down on him, filling him with a sense of dread. Finally, he stood face to face with the figure, the dim light casting eerie shadows across its features. And then, with a sudden gust of wind, the figure vanished into thin air, leaving Mr. Thompson standing alone on the empty street. Shaken but determined to shake off his unease, Mr. Thompson hurried inside his house, locking the door behind him. He tried to convince himself that what he had seen was just a trick of the imagination, a product of his tired mind playing tricks on him. But deep down, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. That night, as Mr. Thompson lay in bed, sleep eluded him. Every creak of the floorboards, every whisper of the wind outside, sent a shiver down his spine. He tossed and turned his mind racing with thoughts of the mysterious figure he had seen earlier. Suddenly, a loud bang echoed through the house, jolting Mr. Thompson awake. His heart pounded in his chest as he sat up in bed, straining to listen for any sign of intruders. But all he could hear was the sound of his own ragged breathing. Summoning his courage, Mr. Thompson climbed out of bed and crept through the darkened hallway, his footsteps muffled by the thick carpeting. As he reached the top of the stairs, he froze in horror. Standing at the bottom of the staircase was the figure from earlier, its dark cloak billowing around it like a shroud. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light as it stared up at Mr. Thompson, sending a chill down his spine. With a trembling hand, Mr. Thompson reached for the light switch, flicking it on with a click. But when the light flooded the hallway, the figure was gone leaving Mr. Thompson standing alone in the empty house. Determined to uncover the truth, Mr. Thompson searched every inch of the house, but there was no sign of the mysterious figure. Exhausted and shaken, he returned to his bed, hoping that sleep would bring him some respite from the horrors of the night. But as he lay there in the darkness, a sense of unease washed over him once more. It was as if the very walls of the house were closing in around him, suffocating him with their oppressive presence. And then, just as he was about to drift off into an uneasy sleep, he heard it. A soft whispering, like the rustle of leaves in the wind, echoed through the room. Mr. Thompson sat up in bed, his heart racing as he strained to listen. The whispering grew louder, filling the room with its eerie melody. And then, from the shadows emerged the figure once more, its eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. It drifted towards Mr. Thompson, its ghostly form shimmering in the dim light. Who are you? 
Mr. Thompson whispered, his voice trembling with fear. The figure said nothing, only reaching out a spectral hand towards him. And then, with a sudden flash of light, Mr. Thompson's world went black. When he awoke, Mr. Thompson found himself lying on the floor of his bedroom, the first light of dawn filtering through the curtains. His heart still racing, he sat up slowly, trying to make sense of what had happened. Had it all been a dream? Or had he truly encountered something supernatural in the night? Shaking his head, Mr. Thompson pushed himself to his feet and made his way downstairs, eager to put the events of the night behind him. But as he stepped into the hallway, he froze once more. There, hanging on the wall, was a portrait he had never seen before. It was of a woman, her eyes glowing with an otherworldly light, her features twisted in a haunting smile. As Mr. Thompson stared at the portrait in horror, he realized with a sinking feeling that the figure he had encountered in the night bore a striking resemblance to the woman in the painting. And as he looked into her eyes, he knew that his encounter with the supernatural was far from over. For in that moment, Mr. Thompson realized that he was not alone in the house. And whatever had visited him in the night was not done with him yet.